Hey guys, so that was modern. Let me put modern aside and let's do ED8. So ED8 is actually kind of interesting this time around because I did pick up some cool cards. Oh, and I'll show you the tokens I picked up for ED8. I love my tokens. I do not play any of these games, but uh, they are very, I've been told they are very good cards. I think this is from last time. These are my new to newest tokens. I have not watched any of these animes. If you watch, I've watched this one now. So I do know who C is. So those are the tokens I picked up for ED8s. So let's go over ED8s tradables. Um, Dragon Master Outcast, I do like picking him up, him up right now. Very cheap card, used to be very expensive. Uh, Shao Kahn, such a cheap planeswalker. He's not Tibble bad, so he should go up in price. Uh, God of Passage. So let's talk about this card. This card I cannot keep in my binder no matter what. Uh, he gets, as soon as I pick one up, he just goes right there. He, I don't know who's playing him or what they're playing him in, but people definitely are trading for him, and it's really hard to keep him in my binder. A playset of Splinter Twins, and this might be... You might ask, oh, why does this have to be EDH relevant? It's one of the better combos in EDH, so I like them. And the, you can pick up playsets from people for pretty cheap. Cough of the Hammer, Chandra Pyromancer, Chandra the Firebrand. Anytime I'm, avail I'm able to pick up Planeswalkers, I will pick them up as extra trade bait. Um, a lot of times what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my standard cards into stuff that has already declined in price. That's already rotated out and this is a very good price point because these are like three to four dollars and standard cards are typically three to four dollars um, so they make a lot of sense for me to trade into those so this was called a reprint as a uncommon which means the price of this has absolutely tanked chain lightning is a good card it is a good card it's going to be reprinted and right now i think the reprints are five dollars right now but it should go down to probably two fifty, maybe three dollars. But that being said, I always will go with the original ones over the new ones. Uh, next, Goblin War Chief. I did get a few packets of that, and then the Four War Chiefs, which is very good. I think I have another. Nope, not another Goblin War Chief. Two Stage of the Hours. They trade like hotcakes. Any legendary land that. Legendary land trade pretty well. It that betrays. I think that's my fifth one of those. Foil, Sylvan, and still in pack. Vraska, and six chromatic lantern. So let's talk about this card. This card is when I looked up the price, I figured it would still be a dollar or two, but it's no longer a dollar or two card. It's around six to seven dollars, uh, and that is reasonable for what the card does in ED8s. And now the fact that we get four color generals, uh, commanders, this card would be even more v valuable for those decks. Uh, assuming it's not reprinted in the decks, right? If it's reprinted all five decks, then you would have a case of tanking the price. Assuming there is no reprint, this card will only increase in price after the new commander 2016 decks come out. That is why I'm stockpiling them like crazy right now because I have a good feeling, a really good feeling that this card could spike up to 15 or $20 even should those four color commanders be popular. And why would they not be popular? Honestly, because the more colors you play, the better the deck you can make. Um, so yeah, those are my pickups. Uh, I definitely recommend uh, picking up like anytime you see like a legendary land, it's probably a good pickup. Say so just any time that you're looking cards that can take extra turns, probably a good pickup. Uh, the Goblin War Chiefs, not the greatest pickup, but I do like them quite a bit. I am I love playing it back in the day when you go went Goblin War Chief and then you played the Seeds Gain, Gain Commander. That was my favorite deck, and that was the deck I played, so I'm more than happy to pick up reprints of that. Chain Lightning, Chandra's Coughs, Splinter Twins, Shawkon, and God of Passage. So that makes it, uh, anyway, oh, leave me a comment below if you have picked up something cool for EDH or you want some advice in a trade, buy or sell, and I will try my best to comment on those. Um, I'm trying to get in the habit of doing it, but because these five videos will probably, it's a good way for me to talk about speculation 
and what I'm picking up in a real realistic way, right? Because if I'm picking up six chromatic lanterns, it is unlikely that I'm, it is very likely that I like the card, right? Anyway, bye guys.